So what's happening YouTube, you boy Tech Tricks back in another video. Today we're looking at the AS5 Geekom. Yeah. And this has the Ryzen 9 and also the Radeon graphics built in. As you can see here, it has the R9 5900HX. It also has a DDR5 32 gigs and a one terabyte M.2. Let's go ahead and open this up. Here we go. So inside the box, as you can see here, this has the mini PC right here. Let's take this out of the plastic. There it is. Let's put that on the side for now. It also comes with the power adapter right here, cord right there, HDMI as well, instruction manual. It has some screws for mounting in the back of the TV, like a VESA mount like so. And that's really it for the box. So this is the mini PC right here. Let's take off the plastic right here. So here we get the headphone jack, audio jack you can use there. There's the HDD LED right there. Here it has the USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C. Here is the USB 3.2 Gen 1, two of them. And the power button and LED. On the side, it has a, a nice grill here for the fan. It also has the pot where you can lock it right there. On the back, again, little vents on the top here. Uh, padlock spot right there. HDMI 2.1, two of them. Display port 1.4 right here. Uh, this one has the pretty pretty awesome one, uh, USB 3.2 Type-C Gen 2. USB 3.2 Gen 2, Gen 1 right here and two of them right, right there. This also has the 2.5 gigs RJ45 LAN right there and the DCN. The other side has nothing in it, just a vent. That's really it. So it's pretty simple. The top is, uh, there's nothing there. Usually they have like a Geekom print here, but right now it's just pretty clean box. It's a nice uh, mini PC that you can tuck in the back of your TV. The bottom of the AS5 also has four screws on the feet of it. Vent in the middle right here and some information right in the middle right here. Pretty much you can open this and up upgrade your internals let's do that right now so opening up the as5 right here it comes with a second nvme slot right here this um, was on here like so i wanted to take it off so that i could show you guys the options to uh, upgrade it so as you could see here with the main box it has this nvme slot right here which you can obviously take out and put maybe a two terabyte on there. PCIe as well. NVMe slot and this one has the kind of like the laptop style of DDR5 there. And basically you're just gonna move this in the side like so. If you have upgraded anything, you just do that. And then take this one off like so. Put that on the side. And then you could take off the other one as well by flipping that on that side and this side as well. That's it. And then you can take off the old ones and put faster card or if you want the higher gigabytes RAM, you can do that there as well. And as you can see here, it has the Asus motherboard as mentioned earlier. Putting this back is really easy as well. You just have to place that right on there like so and then pretty much you're just gonna clap this down just like that to lock it in and there it is that's it that's all and last but not least you're just gonna put this all back like so there it is again make sure everything lines up right here and you're just screwing the four bottom screws there and you're done so right now we have the geekcom as5 and we have three monitors uh, set up to it we have the studio display from apple 5k resolution there in the middle we have a 1080p on this side right here on both sides so one right here 21 inch 
this is a 24 inch right here which is a 1080p display as well so as you can see we have the display settings right here our main display is in the middle here the resolution we have uh, 5120 by 28 2880 as you can see there also scalable you can do 100 percent or 200 percent just do 200 percent so you could actually see the text it's pretty small if you do it otherwise so right here we have the um, radeon adrenaline uh, software so you, we could see what's what's going on with this pc if we go through gaming here we'll be able to see the our games performance right here we'll see the performance of our pc eight percent right there it's being used right now the vram it's using around 383 megabytes with a maximum of 512 megabytes uh, clock speed is uh, 1600 maximum of 2000 uh, millihertz there megahertz there's the cpu as well tells you what cpu you have here and it's using about five percent again this is just uh, idle and then the ram at 32 gigs as you can see there 3200 megahertz ddr4 memory now for tuning here as you can see clock speed three gigahertz three uh about two 1.8 gigahertz there voltage is 1.3 for power consumption is okay 17 watts and uh, current temperature is 64 degrees celsius there and it's just a settings if you want like a preset i just put on easy sports and then um, here we'll see more of a extensive graphics here information most of the information of the pc is down here um, this is the graphics here integrated graphics 500 megabytes vram with ddr4 1600 megahertz and then there's the uh, cpu here 5900 and then again 32 gigs of ram there with a processor speed of 3.29 not bad six uh, eight cores and also 16 threads so as you guys can see with this mini pc as5 be able to do three monitors all at once which is nice to have if you're um, multitasking gaming at the same time all that stuff be able to do it all on the as5 pretty impressive now let's do some gaming we have last of us here and basically i'm just going through the story mode and honestly when i was playing this as you could see above there we have the fps uh, cpu and also um, the fluctuation of fps here while you're gaming the usage for the gpu as well here and the um, fps as well again there the vram use as well is up there and honestly, during this gameplay, I didn't find anything that is laggy or anything like that. And the resolution is fairly high as well. I didn't change anything. And she could see the detail from the rendering. It's not bad. It's very usable. Um, I'm not sure how to play it with the keyboard. I was trying to play it. I usually play this on a controller, like an Xbox controller. But um, I have the keyboard and mouse right now so i'm just uh, kind of struggling on the keys here but for the most part it's not laggy at all i'm able to aim um my way and punch through you know my way out of there which is really good um for a small device i'm pretty impressed how you can uh, game a pretty intensive game as well uh with this you know pretty cheap as well uh, affordable for the most part because these kind of games usually they're demanding and even if you buy a console it'll cost you about 800 bucks for a ps5 or something like that and this little pc um, is more than that it's not just a console you can use it for windows as well and it's able to play the game without any problems whatsoever which is really good let's test out another game here which is the miles morales spider-man again don't mind my struggle on like the keyboards uh, again i'm using the uh mouse and keyboard here setup i have no clue i should have just put my xbox controller on here 
I'm pretty much I was struggling to like uh, use what controls on there I'm really used to the Xbox controller but for the most part actually like it, it's no lag and just just to give it a shot as well I'll tell you that I am screen recording this with OBS okay and as you could see it's not choppy at all it's able to do all that while uh, gaming so I would say even uh, if you are live streaming um, if you have a camera on here and you are live streaming this on Twitch, uh, YouTube, if you're a streamer or anything like that, you can use this device just for that. And and I'm pretty impressed that you're able to screen record, uh, even stream with this uh, on the background while playing the game is uh, quite amazing, especially for a little device. Uh, nowadays, um, I used to remember buying like a big bulky um PC, you build your uh, very expensive B PC, right? It costs you like $3,000 just to do games like this. Even like I said, a console before would struggle on uh, live streaming. As you can see, the little device like this for as little as 600 bucks on, on their website, you'll be able to do all that uh, live stream and play games with high graphics as well without stuttering and pretty smooth as well pretty impressed by the as5 by geekom now here's some more practical uh productivity maybe you like to browse the internet and if you're like me you like to have multiple tabs on as you could see here i'm just kind of like spamming the tabs on the microsoft edge here and pretty much if you uh, as you can see, there's no struggle at all. And at the same time, I am screen recording right now uh, um, with uh, OBS. And then we're going to do some uh, Google Suite here as well, like Google Docs, Google, you know, if you guys are using uh, Microsoft Office as well, um, you'll be able to do that with this. Do some typing as well with Excel, um, just where you're just using the web-based version of it, uh, which is a Google Slides, Google um numbers i forgot what it's called uh, google sheets and google docs uh, we're gonna put it all out here and see how well it does um for me i think it's like pretty fast for the most part if uh, the pc is able to game it's able to do uh, pretty basic stuff productivity wise anyway um and without any problems at all even like uh playing videos on youtube we have the 4k resolution here uh we're gonna play two videos at once so that you guys can see uh how well it this device works and we're gonna put up a 4k video on one and an 8k video on the other one and honestly like there's no way to even tell if th that this is just a mini pc is pretty fast there's no uh, lag whatsoever and as you could see this footage right here is uh, live streaming 8k resolution straight out of um, youtube which is like wild to me uh, it's just super clear super crisp video super unreal now here let's do uh, let's test out the wi-fi let's do uh, the speed test here and as you could see, it's it's no brainer. Even the Wi-Fi is super fast. Um, download speeds. Uh, I have the one. It's kind of like the Shaw version here. It's like the one terabyte or whatever, and it's never that. Uh, honestly, compared to my other computer, from my phone even, this is what I get about 200, 300 ish. And then about 100 megabytes for uploads. Not bad at all. Pretty good. Now let's do some uh, graphics benchmarks for those of you who are nerds like me. And ta -da -da -da, this is what we get from uh, Geekbench. 1939 and 7800 for multi-score. Pretty cool. Now let's do some Cinebench. Let's see how the graphics work here. And for the most part, as you could see, the ranking it's not even that bad um 
like I said, it can do its punches. For the most part, it's able to do some gaming and some productivity, and for me, that's good enough. This Geekbench stuff um, may not reflect the real life anyway, but it's still nice to look at what we're getting here. So what we get is uh, 10, 580 points for multi-core. And for single score, we get 1466. Not bad at all. So that's it for the day, everyone. Uh, in conclusion, if you do want to get one of these, I definitely recommend this for people who are starting out or looking for a desktop PC. You don't want to build it yourself. It's already pre-built for you and it's good enough for the most part. Again, you can even live stream with this device. You can record like what I'm doing right now my games you can do uh, productivity if you're using it for microsoft office and all that web browsing watching 8k videos on youtube you could do that as well you can use this for netflix uh, different uh, live streaming device um, without any problem whatsoever um, of course uh, you still need to bundle it with a keyboard mouse and all that stuff but uh, for around six hundred dollars this is not bad at all um pretty good um you can play games on high res and you won't have any problems and that's it for today everyone make sure to subscribe to my channel hit the like button if you want to get one of these i'll link this down below everything is an affiliate link it does help with the channel a lot if you do buy it from there uh, thanks for watching everyone i'll see you guys next time and peace out